Hi, today I am going to show you what I found out that I can do to my basket that has made it so easy to maintain. So I love to design my garden so that I can grow as much in food and flowers, but I don't want the huge amount of maintenance. So if I can, I do have maintenance, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but if I can find little things that will help me with uh, things around the garden and save some time, I'm all for it. I saw this, I, I don't know if it was Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, but I saw something similar that someone did and I think it was such a good idea and I've used it and it really works. So I'll show you at the end how it turned out, but I will provide you with the information. <laughs> I just realized I had this. It's not here, it's a fan my mom gifted me. Not sure where she bought it, if it was, Amazon or something, I don't know, but it is amazing. I will have to say um, It really keeps me cool. It hits on the right place and I can be here a lot longer in the summer So this has been like the best gift I've gotten. I will if I find the link I will link it below But if you want to watch a little tip that I think can make a big impact on Having to maintain certain baskets in your garden or even some pots go ahead and keep watching if you're new here, my name is Melba and I love to create and design a garden that provides me as much in food and flowers in my tiny backyard. Let's go back. I've never been stung by a bee in my entire life. I'm over 50, so that's a long time. And we were doing all the DIYs last week. I got stung twice. <laughs> One, the bee was drowning in a little water thing I had on my table and I went to grab it. And I always grab them and put them outside of the house and it stung the heck out of me. It hurt so bad, it felt like an electrical shock. And then the other one is I was um, deadheading my roses <laughs> and I grabbed the rose because it's really high up and ended up getting stung on my finger and that one sold up pretty bad the other one didn't but so I got stoned by a bee for the first time ever twice in a row <laughs> These are so pretty. They look like little roses. At the bottom of the pot, I used this plastic, but I think I'm gonna cut it. I think it's too high, and where the first hole is on the bottom, um, this thing goes above it, and I want the plant to be able to get the nutrients of the soil. So I'm gonna cut it like in half, so it's lower. If the hole falls here, then this is down here, because this is all moth, it dries up so fast. So I'm gonna put this to hold some water and nutrients down there and that way, you know, I'm touching it, it's nice and moist, it's not wet. I'm not gonna put any holes on it, I'm just wanted to hold a little bit of moisture down there for the plants. That's how deep it is, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Some of the plants I'm gonna keep and some are not, so I'm gonna take out some of them. 
I'm probably gonna plant them in another place. The pansies I'm definitely gonna remove because it's gotten too hot for them. Last year they lasted until August. They did really well. And these are doing pretty well. I may put them in my Vigo garden because they get shade most of the day until the afternoon. And they're looking pretty good. I'm going to leave this sweet potato vine for all of these I'm going to take out. I'm going to leave that petunia. This is going to, it looks like a petunia white color. And this Misuna, I'm going to transfer to my Vigo garden. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to leave two of them. So I'm going to remove all the soil from inside. This is good soil. This is, um, Poppy frog, so I'm gonna put it on my garden bed. On the Vigo garden bed. Because one of them, the biggest one, needs some soil. So this is only like a few weeks old. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I'm adding it to my Vigo garden bed because it's a little low and this is good soil it keeps the moisture really well so I don't want to waste it but I want to put new soil in the planter because they don't they have a harder time in a planter the plants getting nutrients unless you add them I'm gonna put some new happy frog soil on them they should be happy with that So the plastic, here it is, I'm going to cut it, I think right there, and then that will be below the first hole down here, if you don't see it right there, but it still will keep the humidity, and if we get a Oh, I can buy these obviously, but I don't have one right now, so I'm gonna use this one. The ones I have are smaller, and I don't want to go buy them. I'm gonna cut this one. Okay. So now, if I lay it down, there is some plastic here already on the bottom. It doesn't keep enough humidity so I want the humidity to just step this and that way when I pour nutritious like liquid fertilizer it will hold it there and they can absorb it. So, so I'm gonna get going. Let's get the plants in. So on the bottom I think I'm gonna do some of these. The white stream. And these are big. I tried to find small pots and I could not find it. So I'm going to have to break the root of this. I'm going to stick it in. Oh, that's pretty. So let's do this one here. I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna do. Oh, broke. Where is it? This pink one. So pretty. This is the verbena. Go ahead and break it. Oh, that's going to be 
beautiful. It looks so pretty with this sweet potato line because he has a pink hue on the edge. And this one I'm going to do the potato plant. Get in here and face it down. Nice. That's beautiful. Okay, we have more. Let's do this beautiful one. I love this. I love some green stuff that doesn't have to flower. I think it looks so pretty. And the variegated plants. I'm sorry, my dog is barking away. She barks at everything. She's 17, so. And then let's do one more, and I think I'm gonna do another one of these on this side. And just break it, they'll do fine. So that it fits in the hole. So the first layer is done. Look how pretty. Okay. I need to add one more here. I think I'm gonna do this one that has the yellow center. I have another one that will go on the top, but it would be nice to put one on the edge. Wow, this has a lot of roots, so I need to break the root. I think that will fit. I can probably force it in there. So the first layer is all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the soil and nutrition in here. I'm gonna add some fire and some plant on. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so now we'll repeat the same. Let's do this in between because there's a lot of white in here. It'd be nice to add a little bit of color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And there's more white here, so let's see, I have few petunias. I think I may do this one here. Oh, this is so pretty with that yellow. I love it. It's too white still. I'm kind of massaging this so I don't I break the roots, but not so much that I stress the plant out. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. And then I have oregano, decorative oregano there. Let's see. I think I'll do, there's white one here. This pink one, I just broke one, but it grows so fast. I don't need a lot of watering these, which is great. I'll take this one. It will be good with a lot of sun, so... Okay. 
Oh, that's pretty. And then I have one more, which is this gorgeous petunia. So I think that way it looks like it's spilling down. It's gorgeous petunia. I really like this one, so I think I'm going to use it here. them so now I'm gonna get a little biotone and plant in here I do it a little bit on each layer and this is good enough I don't want to overdo it to burn the roots so I'm gonna mix it with the soil a little soil and then I'll put the ones on the top So now we'll start placing. I'm gonna do the one that's the main feature or this whole basket is these gorgeous ones. So I had this basket from I'm gonna direct it sideways. I had this basket from last year. I bought it, it was so expensive, but it was absolutely beautiful. It was full of begonias. But I kept the basket, I'm gonna reuse it. This one I'm gonna reuse it this year. I'm gonna break the roots a little bit. This one is pretty soft, but this one is pretty dry, so. So I decided I'm gonna reuse it because baskets are so expensive this year. I couldn't believe how expensive they are. So I didn't buy any already made baskets. I bought some last year and then I built some of my own that. I'm gonna put this beautiful pink one. Yeah, that's really rebel. So I'm gonna massage it. I'm a little more gentle with these types, but I do want to break it up like that. I'm gonna put it in the center. to this purple one also. These are so rebound. Wow. It is this soil is pretty soft so I'm gonna move them next to each other. So you're not gonna see the top of this so I want to make sure the whole edge is is spilling down all the way around and then these are put right on the center for height and I think it works really well it just makes it look so pretty I don't bother filling up every single thing inside I want these to have a little bit of space to spread I like to fill out my basket quite a bit and I want some pink some yellow ones I think the other one looks so pretty. I'm just shaking this one a little because the soil is pretty dry so that when I put the new soil it'll be nice. And then one more of these yellow ones. These are all like mega <laughs> I'm gonna just break the soil a little bit. Place it here. Oh, that's so pretty. And then I'm gonna do another one here. I think I'm gonna do. All right, I'm debating, debating, debating. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. No, I think I'm going to do this one because the flowers are a little bigger and I kind of like the scale better. And then I have one more spot that I think... Uh, maybe I'll do this. 
Now I'm gonna do another yellow one, this lemon color one, Petunia. Goes over here. And I'm still tilting it a little sideways. And now I'm gonna just fill it up with good soil. I hope I can lift this to put it up back on the tree. Because this one feels really heavy. every single crevice in. to put just a little bit of plantone right here just so that when I water there's a hole in there The basket has done so well. These are just gorgeous petunias. They're really growing and the yellow, this butter yellow petunia is very pretty. I love having this waterfall. It just brings your eye right down into the flower garden, the pollinator garden. And the verbena also has been doing just fantastic. Even though they like it a little bit dry, they've been, because I put them on the second hole, it has not caused any issues with it. I have it growing all the way to here. Here's the oregano, which is like a decorative oregano. And everything is doing good. Look at this, how pretty is that? The ones up there, the tall ones, oh, look at that little bee. The ones up there are the tall ones I showed you and they just flower so they're getting ready to flower again. You can see a lot of growth. So they're doing fantastic. I think this is a great tool. The white little petunias are going. Just everything is just doing so good. The sweet potato. So I'm really happy and I think I will be using this on some of my pots. You do have to remember that some plants don't like it like this one here the black eye susan i tried that with it and it did not like it so i took it off and i just have to water a little more often but now it's really happy so these two look so good together